What is up the world? That is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff, things, playing Minecraft. What up, peeps? And we're inside the lens, ladies and gentlemen, the lens. Thank you so much for coming to join me in the lens. Make sure if you like the video today, don't forget to show your support. Hit the thumbs up button if you have a good time. If you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you so much for joining me. Ladies and gentlemen, my lens is so nice. I love the lens. Dude, you guys, hold on. Wait, uh, what the? Huh? Oh, all right. I think we're going to need some rockets here. Thankfully, we have some. Let's go ahead and squirt these guys inside of here. And let's have a little bit of a fly around. I don't know if I showed you the wall. I don't think I showed you guys the wall. I've been working on this. Look at this amazing wall. I've <clears throat> recreated the original surviving Sliptopia wall in all diorite with blue glass now. All the way. Oh, yeah. Skillful flying all the way around. And it's unbelievable and amazing. And now it matches our whole base. Look at this, man. It's coming along so nice. I'm so excited about it. Oh, these things. I didn't show you these. Wait, oh, crap. Mm. Failed. I failed, guys. I wasn't able to do what I was supposed to do, which was fly through these amazing doorways. So check this out, man. We added some doorways. Now, you might say to yourself, <laughs> it's an arch. Yeah, it is. But check this out. I really like this architecturally. If we take a little bit of a step back here, a little arch deal like so, a little arch deal like so, kind of matches the whole deal. I really like the way that it looks. Gives the bottom just a little bit of, you know what I mean? Something, something, a little shape going on over there. And then over in this side, you will be able to see, like so. Oh, it comes up and over like that. And then this goes up and over like that. It almost looks like I thought of it and actually like used my brain to make a design here. But yeah, so there's no new openings um, and they're really cool. I like them and we can fly through them. So pretty nice, nice and open. We can just kind of fly around through this area if we wanted to. Are you still on? Hold on, let me have a little bit of a listen. Yeah, you are. Well, we gotta turn that guy off. Ooh, sexually attractive blue flowers are coming along quite nicely. All right, so today, what are we gonna be doing? Well, you might say to yourself, self, it's Slip Gator video. We're gonna talk about some stuff and things. Well, you'd be right if that was the case. But also, there's other things that we're gonna talk about, and that is, <laughs> that we're going to design a bedroom. All right, so over here, we started to do a little bit of a bedroom design. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to try to keep um, in this area that, that, that are like restrictions that we have to be really careful of. So first and foremost, the rules for the bedroom, all right? The number one rule is we cannot make this. Let's go up to the, uh, the, the first story here. We cannot change the bottom of this. So this needs to be all flat and all birch. For continuity it'll just look a lot better so that's like our number one rule right there how do i get down in my base here um and number two rule i don't think we have any other rules i think that's just the one rule so other than that that's what we're gonna do so i was really uh, already started working on this little bed here and i wanted to, to kind of make it functional but i don't know if we will i'm gonna try a couple of different designs we might not necessarily make this a functional bed um and i was thinking about chandeliers we might do two chandeliers uh i don't know if we'll do that today but today we're working on this bedroom oh yeah rule number two we i don't really want to if we can i don't want to make like a false wall like we, maybe i will i don't know i kind of don't want to but yeah i'm trying to keep these guys open and just glass so we might have to do some compromising but yeah so um over in this area we started to do some stuff and things back over here well you can then that like so mm -hmm. yeah we have a little bit of um some sea lanterns back behind these trap doors um and we started to make this little bed area but what i thought would be even cooler that's right it's all coming down um would be if maybe we don't i wanted to mm, that's not right so um i kind of wanted to like build this up a little bit and 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 one of the things that i wanted to do is i was trying to change this block but i can't change this block remember this whole um platform here is on the slab right we're on the half so it's on uh 111.5 um so that way there's no spawning in here that guy can actually come out of there too and then uh, do we have birch deals let's go ahead like so and like so all right so um that means that i can't change this block it only can be birch but i was thinking why don't we do something a little bit different over here now we can't go any lower i already told you that that's kind of one of the rules but why can't we go a little bit higher 
So I was thinking it might look cool if we did a riser in this whole area here. Actually, now that I started to do that, it was kind of silly. I don't need to. Mayhaps we start, well, first and foremost, let's go ahead and grab some of these guys. And let's pop over here. Let's go ahead and make some birchwood stairs like that. And then what if we were to, from this block, can I, huh? I can't, uh, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, pop these guys off, actually, like so. Take all these guys down. We'll do it right where this glass comes out. This one part of the lens. And then right here, like so. So it's a little slabity riser. Now, that means that this entire area will no longer be on the half block. It'll be on the full block. Um, and so we're going to have to make sure that it stays nice and well and lit. Well, I have torches right here. So for right now, maybe we'll just squirt down some torches around in the area to make it lit up. But I think this is a cool like little start and this will allow us to do like a lot more stuff with the bedroom. So we're not going down any. The bottom floor stays the way that it is. Um, we still maintain that kind of like nice, mostly unspawnable space in the area. But now we have a little bit more room to work with. So I'm going to go ahead now. Huh? Like so and like so. I'm going to go ahead and start to slab this whole guy out. I think I'm going to tear this entire bed down. And once I at least get the bed going, um, I'm going to bring you guys back and show you what we've got. And we're back with our new modern bedroom. It's pretty cool, man. I kind of like the way that it turned out. So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this bed doesn't have to be a functional bed. And I'm always like building stuff and streaming. We're building on stream that turns into night. Um, and so we've always got beds around, like just all around. I was, I was looking out the window to try to see one, but oh wait, there's one right there. So we got beds all around. So this doesn't necessarily need to be a functional bed. So I thought we would just make it into like a thing. So um, this is what she looks like right here. I can't, I made some snow. I went and grabbed some snow over there and then we made some snow deals right here. We unfortunately can't have snow pillows because they'll melt. See, you can see they're melting. This one will melt eventually. We could put something up above there. Uh, to stop the melting, but I kind of don't I kind of like that Do we want to wait can we do is there such a thing as upside down carpet? I don't think there is No, we can't do that. All right. So yeah, no snow pillows for right now um, but yeah, so Get out of there. So we got this. You got the little top here where you fold your your top sh or your uh, comforter over. Yeah, that. And then I always put like a. We have a little uh, blanket on the edge of the bed uh, in my bed. So there's our little blanket on the edge of the bed. And then we have a little deal at the foot of the bed here, looking good. We put some carpeting in because it's good and it helps with spawning stuff and things. Um, and a couple of lamps. I use some end rods and we use some end rods inside of here too for like a cool headboard design type deal. There uh, are some sea lanterns. Wait, what? No, there's no sea lanterns back there. We changed them. I forgot. There's sea lanterns down inside of here. Inside of there, too. Oh, you know what? I got to fix these guys up, too. I want the little line at the bottom. I decided. Line at the bottom. Uh, let's grab these. Let's go ahead and pop these guys off. We want line at the bottom, so we place them up at the top like that. There. That looks better, I think. Do we like that better? Or do we like it better when it's... Uh, ooh, I kind of like it, actually. Yeah, a little bit of something, something. So we can do like this. Yeah, and then they're on the top over here, and that's not a that's not a mistake. That's on purpose for contrast. So contrasting. Um, so yeah, that's our little bed right here, and then we did our little modern lamp with just an end rod and a trap door. I did a little alarm clock deal. Uh, we have a little you know a little flower next to the bed, blue flower of course. We got our laptop right here. Yeah, a little laptop design, um, and yeah, uh, another one of these guys. Like so. Uh, and I think it turned out pretty cool. I used some of the skinned birch logs. Is that what those guys are called now? I can't, they weren't there. They weren't in Minecraft last time I played. Yeah, stripped, pardon me. The stripped birch all around inside of there. Uh, and then we added some, just some diorite fence, a diorite wall, pardon me, kind of in the corners over there, just for a little bit of something, something. And I like it. I kind of feel like I almost want a little bit more color. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I can do or where I could put the color. We could add a lapis block here and here. That could be a thing. Uh, let's try, let's test it out. No, that's not lapis. Let's grab this guy right here. So this is gonna be a little bit of a mess. Let's pop that guy off, grab all those guys. Now, if we were to go ahead and put a lapis block in there, does that like, is that too much or is that like just enough? Now, if we were to come back over here, squirt that guy down inside of there like so, put the, whoop, like that. Do we like it better? I kind of like it 
No. So, um, yeah, because we're doing such a modern build, everything is a little bit more plain than I think you'd normally see in Minecraft. So we normally would try to do a little bit more detail. But here, I think we're going to keep it a little bit more plain. So those guys are just going to be plain. It's very, very modern, nice and clean. Um, and I didn't want to add anything more to like this area here. So it's just like our bedroom area. It's nice. I like it. It's nice and simple. It does the body good. So we got this guy done. Now, I think that, mm, yeah, I didn't bring any with me. Maybe we could pop down and I'm probably going to need to get some scaffolding. Now, we were talking about on the stream, some of the guys were mentioning um, that we might do some chandeliers. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do chandeliers. I'm a grumpy old man. I have no time for that. Scaffolding? Scaffolding? Uh, rockets? So, um, I think we might try... I don't know. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to see. Hold on. Uh, uh. How does it look like from the outside? So it looks like a thing from the outside. You can see it widens up the floor right over there. We might just do... Oh, wait. I already did. I forgot. <laughs> so uh, I went ahead and did the, uh, the same thing on the other side. I'm just trying to fly one day. Um, yeah, I already added it up over here. So it's identical on both sides. Oh, and I did check all of our light levels over inside of here, and they are good. We shouldn't have any spawning inside of there. But yeah, I just want to check and see what it looks like from the outside. It's cool. Like, it looks like there's a little thing inside of there, which is perfect. Now, as far as the chandeliers go, do we want to do some chandeliers, and what do we want to do if we want to do that? Now, if we're going to do them, here's the deal with the chandeliers. Ah! Uh, why do you hate... Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. So, um... If we're going to do chandeliers, I feel like we need one, two, and then probably three and four, right? And maybe five and six? I don't know. Do we want them down there, too? So we'd have to do six chandeliers inside of there. Jeez, I don't know if that's really what we want to do. Let me go ahead and, and take a look here. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, I'm going to grab some scaffolding um, so that we can build up inside of there. And we're able to climb up and down. So let's pop down over inside of here. And down inside of here. Uh, scaffolding. Let's just grab a couple of stacks of that. Feels good team. No! No! Why do you hate me, game? I moved. So somebody was asking me about this, too. Somebody was asking me about... Um, I have so much trouble with our compact storage pods. Why don't you do something different about this? Now, here's the deal. The biggest problem is that we have our elytron. I don't know if I ever explained this to you. If you fall down here and you hit space and then shift, turn around and go up, you're good, right? So space stops you from bouncing. So you're bouncing, you're bouncing, you hit space. Well, no, it doesn't stop you from bouncing. It keeps you bouncing. I'm sorry. Shift stops you from bouncing. So if you pop down inside of here. Now, if we hit shift. <laughs> so I can <laughs> let me out of my deal. So if we hit shift, we get this little noise, right? But if you if you stay in this position, you don't move. Every time you hit the button, you'll come right out. So in order to get the noise, the little bit of damage to go away, you fall down in space, then like so hit that and you're out right so you come down in space shift turn button what <laughs> why do you hate me game space shift turn button should work every time space shift turn button we're geez um when you have the elytra on if you hit space while you're falling it makes you fly like this so you fly forward and you're out of position so the really the only way to use these compact storage storage pots if you have the elytra on is to come in and just hold shift and then take the damage. So it kind of sucks because I hate taking the little bit of damage and having that weird noise go. So, but it is what it is. All right. So now that we got our scaffolding, already up inside of there, I have a bunch of different building materials. I got a bunch of end rods, which I think is what we're going to try to use. I never built like an end rod chandelier before. Um, and we want to do, well, that's the wrong deal. We want to do something modern. So that's what we're going to try here. So let's pop back up inside of here. Uh, we're up. And then let me take a look. I got to figure out where we're going to put it. Look at our little bedroom. It's nice. I like this. Maybe blue here. I feel like it needs more blue. Yeah. You know what? I, I think that might be a thing. Mm, we got the lapis blocks right over here already. Mayhaps we pop these guys off. And then why don't we squirt these down right over here? Like so and like so. Stick that there like that. Does that make a thing? Yeah, it does. I love it. All right. That'll be cool. Pop that guy off like so. We can go like that. And honestly, I don't think we need these little pressure plate pieces. It doesn't really matter over there. All right. So uh, under cover of darkness now, I think that we will find a good spot for this and begin chandelier building. 
you guys. I'm not sure how this came out. I can't decide whether it's amazing or kind of not. I have really no idea. I really, uh, seeing it at night might help too. With the shaders, everything just kind of turns red at night. So I'm not really sure what I think. But I just used some white glass panes and blue glass panes and a bunch of end rods and just kind of made something. Uh, because this building is an even number, this is the center, these two blocks, um, to make this even as well, we had to kind of do like a four by. So, um, yeah, I decided to just kind of like bring it down in and then I just decided to kind of like do a couple of box shapes, uh, bring some of these kind of down, almost like banners that are flowing down. Um, it's kind of tough to see. Maybe if we could see from, for, I don't know, up close. I don't know if that's really helpful. Yeah, I mean, it's a thing. It's cool. I like it. I'm not like super blown away or anything. But yeah, it's not bad at all. I did decide that I really like my bedroom. Um, so it was cool to have that around here. I think we got to figure out some other stuff and things to put in the area too. And I was also thinking that maybe just to add a little bit more something, something, if we were to almost take, well, it'd be kind of like a uh, reverse crown molding here and take some of these guys off and put stairs in here. Well, well not like that, <laughs> not like that slip. Uh, like so. Why are you? Why do you hate me, game? Let me place them down below then. Maybe that will work. All right. So we could have like some crown molding around the outside edge. I kind of really like that idea, but the only problem that I have with it is that when we go outside, it's really going to make it look like. Where's my rockets at? It's going to make it look like, uh, it's not super duper, um, I don't know, fine. Like it's more fine looking when it's just the half slab. So if we were to, uh, let me see here fly up over here like so and just take a look it really looks nice and clean when it's thin that thin line when it starts to thicken out if we were to thicken out all the way across i feel like it wouldn't look that good so i like that we did the riser here i don't think we're gonna do that there that chandelier doesn't look bad up in there like that i like that idea but what i'm thinking about doing is we're gonna take that chandelier we're just gonna have it sit there we're gonna let it be a chandelier and we're gonna head back up over here and I think, uh, do I have some slabs? Yeah, I do. On the other side over here, I think that we should probably right like this. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just place that guy down right there. And then we can grab our scaffolding. And build that guy up like so. Did I build it in the wrong spot? Yeah, we did build in the wrong spot. Let's come back a block. But over in this area here, what I think that we're going to do is go ahead and see if there's um, a different design that I can come up with. Something that's a little bit different. And then what I want to do on this side, I think instead of being quite so symmetrical, maybe we'll take it to like a, an unsymmetrical type type look. Because that, that fully symmetrical boxy look that we get over here, because we did it thin. And that thinness is what, that kind of makes it like the more modern look, um, I think. But I feel like over here, maybe we could switch it up and do something a little bit different. I think we found a better design. I think I figured out something that I like a little bit better. All right, guys, check this out, man. So I just was fooling around with a bunch of stuff. And uh, this little kind of like more art deco-y design came out. And I think it looks really good. Let's go ahead and take our scaffolding down. Pop all those guys out of there. Do I get, please? Yes. All right, just pop this guy off. Make our floor look nice and floory like so and then there you have it just a nice simple chandelier design now what i did for this is just kind of like alternating so i did two guys and then two uh blue glass blocks and then a white glass pane and the white glass pane then from the glass panes we had another end rod those go to two blue glass blocks with white panes in the corners and we kind of just bring that all the way down like so it looks really good i was thinking about taking this down another one but uh uh like that no i don't like it I like it like this. I think it looks good. I think it fits the build better too. Um, it's very, very cool. You can almost get away with putting some diorite in there. Um, I did try a bunch of different stuff up top of there. I tried some iron trap doors. I tried some of uh, the birch trap doors. But I think just like this looks really, really good. I think it's great. I like the design. You can tell me in the um, description which one you like better. If you like number one better, this guy over here. Pop that guy off too. I got to get back up there in a second though, because we're gonna have to replace this guy with that guy. Uh, I'm gonna change all of them to this. But yeah, if you like this design better, design number one, thumbs down, boo. <laughs> design number two, yay! Comment in the down there. Design number two, tell me which one that you like better. All right, chandelier number one is now chandelier number two. And I do think that they look great. I really like this design a lot. And I think that we're gonna go ahead and recreate it throughout uh, the lens. So if we pop down inside of here and then we pop back up to our lens viewing platform, 
We should make a lens viewing platform right here. So if we pop over here to our lens viewing platform, what I'm thinking we're going to do is we kind of put this in the center based on the distance between like here and kind of there, right? Well, this is a little bit longer. So we got these two chandeliers right there. The next one would probably go right around here, right? And then the one down here would be in the same spot. So we'd put it right inside of there. So I think that's the next order of business here. We're going to add four more chandeliers. One, two, three, and four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, six chandeliers ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and pop down here just so you can see. I mean, they're all the same, but uh, they're all the same. But let's just pop up there, pop down here, pop inside of here. These guys are there. They're a little bit offset, like I said, from the originals. So they come over a little bit further. I feel like that's pretty much even, even Steven. And they're perfectly in the center. Those two guys right there. And then if we pop all the way down bottom, like so... There's our chandeliers there and there. So they look good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's head to the lens viewing platform, shall we? That's right. Uh, uh, dude, I'm so, I suck at flying, all right? I'm terrible at it. Huh, the lens viewing platform, here it is. So there you go, you can see. They look good, right? Wait, one, wait, what? One, two, three three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. It just looks a little bit weird because it's off to the center a little bit. They're all exactly the same length. I thought about lengthening these ones a little bit more and they are kind of, I think, offset from each other. They're all offset the way the, the, the two diagonal end rods that come down um, are all offset. So they look great. I love the look of it. It adds a little bit more detail to stuff and things here in the lens and it looks really, really good. Oh my God! What a nice little what a nice little landing we had there. I like the little Art Deco design. It's very very cool. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me for another episode of my Minecraft stuff and things. Uh, my name's Slip Gator. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget show your support and hit the thumbs up button. Come check us out at Twitch.tv/slipgator if you want to see the streams Monday through Friday, five to nine Eastern. And a huge shout out to everybody that helps support on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And may the stuff and things be with you!